Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create stunning AI explosion effects easily, using simple prompts that don't require anything complicated. You guys have been asking me about this tutorial so many times, and finally I've got my pro on Gemini to use VO3. Let's get started. Here I've already generated one explosion VFX just to show you, and I've also made a zooming in from Earth transition to make this edit fully based on AI and see how it turns out. So now let me delete the explosion generated layer from here, and let's create a new one from scratch. Also so if you haven't seen the earth zooming tutorial, make sure to check the link in this video's description. To create a proper explosion, first we need to screenshot a part of the video. For example I want the explosion to happen right after my video ends, so I'll scroll to the very end of my original clip like this and now I'll screenshot that last frame. To take a screenshot, we can use FX console and click on the camera icon to save it to the location you've set in the settings. Or if you don't have the FX console plugin installed, we can go to the composition menu, choose save frame as, and then select file or photoshop layers to save it to your PC. Once you've saved the last frame, we can jump into VO3. Just a quick reminder, none of the AI websites are truly free. Every AI tool is paid, and this one is no exception. You'll need to buy a subscription to generate any kind of AI video or image. I'm not sure if there's a free version out there, since I use everything paid for 100% accuracy and to make sure I'm using it legally. Also some AI websites do offer free generations, like Higgs Field, which I used to create an earth zooming effect, but after just two generations, you'll need to subscribe, so it's not really free. Now let's continue with VO3. Make sure the video option is selected, then click add photo to upload your screenshot. Next we need to describe the image and tell the AI exactly what we want to happen in the video. I've already prepared my prompt, so I'll paste it here. You can pause the video to read the full description, it clearly explains the image and the effect I want the AI to create. Once the prompt is ready, click submit, and then simply wait for the AI to generate your video. Once the AI video is done generating, let's quickly take a look and see how it turned out. Not bad, it looks fun to me. Now we can download this video and simply drag and drop it into the After Effects timeline. The video is a bit small at first, but no worries, since I asked for an upscale to 8K, we can scale it up without losing quality. I'll just scale the video until it fits my composition perfectly. Next let's pre-compose this layer. Make sure to select Move All Attributes and Adjust Composition Duration, then hit OK. Now I'll drag that AI video and place it right after my original clip to check the result. The transition looks good, but it feels a bit slow. We can fix that by speed ramping this clip. Let's scroll to the beginning of the AI layer, right click on it, go to time, and enable time remapping. Now by dragging the time remapping forward, I'll set the start point for the speed ramp. Now let's scroll to where we want the video to end, and set the ending point by dragging the time remapping keyframe forward as well. Once everything is set, I'll split the remaining part of the layer and delete the extra footage. Next I'll select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then I'll open the graph editor, right click, choose edit value graph, and create a smooth curve for a smooth speed transition. Let's check the video. Looks good to me. Now let's close the graph editor and add a shake effect. I will add one from my shake pack to make it more dynamic. With the shake, it looks even better. I'll add one more shake right after the earth zoom effect ends and check the final result. Everything looks great. Now I want to share my honest thoughts about AI. Honestly, I'm not sure if I like it or not. I think I'd still choose my own creativity over AI generated effects, but they are getting more powerful day by day. And with the right prompts, you can basically become an editor without even touching a single clip yourself. It's good for some things, but not really for me. I prefer to edit everything on my own and create manually, even if it takes 5 hours. That doesn't mean AI is bad or anything. For some people it can be really useful. I have subscribed to Gemini just to make this tutorial, but honestly, I don't think I'll use it much after this, maybe once or twice a month. So if you have any requests for AI videos, feel free to ask and I'll make sure to bring them to you. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.